the Ken Hank brand is synonymous with retro gaming consoles, and that's why they've released a lot of Super Console X something, and I even thought it was Anburnic in disguise. But I took a look at this X5 Pro and I have to say I was positively surprised. But before I tell you why, let me show you the steps I took to reach this conclusion. The Super Console X5 Pro is an Android-based handheld design to emulate a wide range of classic gaming systems. Equipped with the Rockchip RK3000 588 SoC, this device promises to offer a fluid gaming experience for titles from several console generations. This chip is the same one that powers the GameForce console, and that means it has this emulation power. In practice, it is capable of emulating N64, Dreamcast, and PSP games at full speed, as well as GameCube and Wii games that are almost always playable, and the vast majority of PS2 games. The X5 Pro has an octa-core processor that combines four high-performance Cortex-A76 cores with four energy-efficient Cortex-A55 cores. This OSC is manufactured using an 8-nanometer processor, allowing a balance between performance and energy efficiency. In terms of memory, the device is equipped with 8GB of DDR4 RAM, providing enough capacity for multitasking and emulation of more demanding systems. The internal storage consists of 64 gigabytes of EMCM memory, offering adequate space for the operating system, emulators, and a considerable collection of ROMs. The graphics are handled by the Mali G610 GPU, a quad-core graphics processing unit capable of handling advanced 3D rendering and supporting modern APIs such as Vulkan 1.2. This GPU is designed to offer good performance in graphics-intensive games and applications, and is particularly relevant for emulating the latest consoles and for visual enhancements in previous generation games. Continuing our analysis, it's important to examine the X5 Pro's performance and standardized benchmarks, which provide us with an objective basis for comparison with other devices. In the AN229.2 benchmark, which is widely used to evaluate the overall performance of Android devices, the X5 Pro achieved a total score of This result is significant for a device in this category, indicating a good balance between CPU, GPU, and memory performance. Looking at the individual components of this score, we have specific results for the CPU and GPU. The processor obtained a single-core score of 814 and a multi-core score of 25-46. These figures reflect the SoC's capacity for both single-core and parallel processing tasks. In terms of graphics, the device recorded an OpenCL score of 33,000 demonstrating the capabilities of its GPU and computer graphics and tasks that require parallel processing. It's important to note that while these benchmarks provide an overview of performance, the real test for an emulation device lies in its actual performance with games from different platforms. So now we'll examine how it performs when emulating various gaming systems, from classic consoles to more recent platforms. The X5 Pro's emulation performance varies depending on the platform being emulated. Starting with the PlayStation 2, the device demonstrates the ability to run various titles with optimized settings. At 2x resolution, many games show good fluidity and improved visuals, especially on 4K screens. However, more demanding titles may require adjustments to maintain stable performance. PSP emulation on the X5 Pro is outstanding. The device handles most games in 4X resolution without difficulty, offering a significantly improved visual experience compared to the original hardware. Fluidity and graphical fidelity are consistent in most of the titles tested. As for the GameCube and Wii, performance varied. While some games run well, others may experience frame rate drops or compatibility problems. It's important to note that the ongoing optimization of emulators may improve this scenario in the future. 
Nintendo 64 emulation on the X5 Pro is robust. The device easily handles most titles, allowing for resolution increases and graphical enhancements without compromising performance. The experience is generally smooth and visually enhanced. For the Dreamcast, the X5 Pro offers near-perfect emulation. Most games run at native resolution or higher, with good fluidity and visual fidelity. Performance is consistent across most of the titles tested. Sega Saturn emulation, known for being challenging, works well on the X5 Pro. The device has enough power to handle most titles, offering a satisfactory gaming experience for this classic system. In addition to these, the X5 Pro also excels at emulating other older systems. Consoles such as the NES, SNES, Mega Drive, and arcade systems run smoothly, often with significant visual improvements. The device's ability to handle multiple systems makes it a versatile option for retro gaming enthusiasts. Moving on to the software, the X5 Pro uses a customized version of Android 12, optimized for game emulation. The user interface is intuitive and focused on providing quick access to emulators and ROMs. The main menu has a clear layout of the emulated systems, making it easy to navigate between different platforms. Ease of use is a strong point of the device. Initial configuration is simplified, allowing less tech-savvy users to get up and running quickly. The system includes pre-installed and configured emulators, reducing the need for complex settings for most games. In terms of customization, the X5 Pro offers several options. Users can adjust performance settings, such as CPU and GPU clock, to optimize specific games. The interface allows customization of themes and layouts, adapting to individual preferences. In addition, Access to the Google Play Store makes it possible to install additional applications and alternative emulators. The operating system also supports over-the-air updates, making it easy to keep the device updated with the latest improvements and bug fixes. Integration with cloud services for synchronizing saves and ROMs is another useful feature, although its implementation may vary depending on the firmware version. It's worth noting that being Android-based, the X5 Pro allows an advanced level of customization for more technical users, including the possibility of rooting and installing custom ROMs, although this may affect the device's warranty. So this device has a number of strong points, not least the powerful chip, which offers robust performance for emulating a wide range of systems. The Android 12-based operating system provides flexibility and ease of use, among the limitations, it should be noted that emulation of more recent systems such as GameCube and Wii can be inconsistent for some titles. The EMC storage, while adequate, doesn't offer the speed of more advanced solutions such as NVMe, although it is possible to connect a disk. It stands as a solid option in the portable emulation device market. It is particularly suitable for retro gaming enthusiasts looking for a versatile and powerful solution for emulating a wide range of classic systems, from 8- and 16-bit consoles to more recent platforms such as PlayStation 2 and PSP. The device is especially recommended for users who value the convenience of an all-in-one system with a user-friendly, pre-exhibited interface. Its ability to cope well with emulation of systems up to the P1 era makes it attractive to gamers who want to revisit titles from these platforms with visual enhancements. In terms of value for money, the X5 Pro offers a good balance between performance and price. It's priced at around 160 cents, which isn't really that cheap, but it is a multi-purpose device. Considering its hardware specifications and emulation capabilities, the device is a competitive value compared to other options on the market. However, the perceived value may vary depending on the user's specific needs and the importance given to emulating more recent systems. For those who mainly prioritize the emulation of older systems, up to the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 era, there are cheaper options on the market. On the other hand, for enthusiasts looking for maximum performance and compatibility, especially for more recent systems, there are more powerful devices available, although generally at a higher cost.
In summary, the Super Console X5 Pro is a solid choice for retro gaming enthusiasts. Looking for a versatile device, capable of handling a wide range of classic systems, offering a good balance between performance, portability, and cost. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and leave a like or dislike. See you in the next video.